Well, going back to the table and, and reaching an agreement is of maximum urgency. So we really need to take on the second stance <laughs> of Mr. Trump's statements and, and uh, continue this very positive momentum that, that we have. Uh, that, that will present clarity uh, to everyone. Uh, and this is key for investors, uh, to, for jobs, for the financial uh, market. So uh, we really need to, to take on that What jumps positive. out is reducing the downside risk for Europe. But where's the upside? Where's the win for Europe in this negotiation? Because it seems as though President Trump just wants to correct the numbers where there are deficits on the trading uh, partnership with European countries. So how does Europe win out of this? <laughs> well, you know, uh, trade is always a two-sided uh, event. So we need both sides to be happy with it, to uh, feel the gains from it. There's a lot of uh, things to gain uh, from getting uh, an agreement uh, around the concerns of both parts. Uh, I think I have to praise France and the US uh, to get uh, into uh, at least uh, uh, put an end uh, to, to that fight. Uh, digital if, taxes. And the digital taxes and the automotive, uh, automobile uh, uh, taxes. We, we need really to 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 calm down, to go to the table, uh, to negotiate, and and uh, if uh, an agreement is made, it will be positive for for uh, all sides. Just say it's not. Just say that we have a damaging fight that plays out over the course of this year. If there's uncertainty for investors, given the slow growth rates, very little room on monetary policy, and still not much action on the fiscal side, what sort of position would that leave Europe in? Well, we, we, we really need to um, make everyone understand on the gains from, from, from negotiations. So uh, I really uh, want to stay with the positive side uh, of everyone. Uh, I know you want everyone. to stay positive, but just say, because yes. we've seen worst case scenario play out on a couple of fronts and you know, a phase one trade deal with China was not easy to achieve. So what if we don't have a positive narrative around trade? What does that mean in terms of the action that finance ministers are going to have to come up with. Well, I, I, when, when you have to react to a negative event, you are always uh, trying to limit the, the, the negative consequences. So uh, we, uh, of course, uh, will have to remain united. Uh, Europe is in a very good uh, position. Uh, we have a balanced budget. We have a very positive external account. So we make savings uh, and generate trillions of euros of savings every year. Uh, we have our banks more robust uh, in an international perspective, also very robust. So we uh, we are prepared uh, to, to, to respond to all negative uh, events that may occur. But uh, let me keep with this uh, idea that there are good reasons uh, for us to think that 2020 will be a, a much better and clearer pass uh, than, 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 than before. Sometimes bad news for investors can be good news. And if there is a, a trade fight that starts to uh, happen over the course of 2020, could that be the excuse for Europeans to embark on some more fiscal spending? We saw last year there were plenty of calls for, for Germany and the Netherlands to loosen the purse strings, but they refused to do so because they want to see a genuine crisis, a genuine excuse to send, spend money. Could a trade fight be that excuse that everybody's been looking for? Well, uh, we, ha we have to be very um, uh, much aware uh, of uh, uh, what space we do have to, to react, and we do have space to react. Uh, some countries actually are already launching quite important uh, programs of public investment, uh, together with the private sector, uh, to, to, to use that to respond to the challenges uh, we have, not only uh, in the manufacturing sector, but uh, more globally, for example, in climate change. Uh, this recent um, announcement by the German government on a big investment uh, in, in the railway uh, sector is exactly uh, going in that direction. It covers both dimensions uh, of, 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 the, of this policy uh, debate. So I, I, think, uh, I think we uh, will be, uh, we, we are certainly ready to act uh, and we have uh, identified uh, a few uh, uh, areas in which uh, we definitely uh, will act. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.